procedure to do. You've got to be kidding me. No, I just shook that and the lid was on. Okay. It's okay. Okay. That was silly of mommy. Yeah. Ugh, but accidents happen, don't they? Yeah. The lid wasn't on and I shook it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why is that? Mommy? Why is that the That was hilarious. I did. Why? Because it just splashed everywhere. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. I know. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Cabinet? Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm cabinet? Yeah. Why? All right, let's try that again. This is officially my last vlog before I'm a mommy of two. We actually had a really busy week this past week. That would have been way more interesting to watch, but I did not pick up my camera. <laughs> I just decided to today and was like, all right, I have one more in me. Let's go ahead and just do this thing. I really thought this baby was gonna be here before my due date, which due dates are literally a guest date. I'm not getting hung up on a due date. It's already passed. It was three days ago, four days ago, three days ago. I think three days ago but it doesn't matter it's like around this time most babies come later anyway so i'm not like gonna be hung up on that but the time is obviously approaching it could be literally any day now could be a week could be more i don't know but i was like let me go ahead and just try to what's happening here try to just pick up the camera one more time my arm hurts not the cutest angle I'm talking quiet because sage is in the other room sleeping i have been sleeping with her for her naps the last like week plus i've been like literally like we are snuggling in my bed every single day for nap time and it's been so fun and so cozy and i feel so guilty because she was like mommy you want me to go ahead and get the bed ready for our nap together and i was like honey your mommy has some stuff i have to do and she was like oh okay so she's in her bed thankfully she does fine either way but I have been really trying to soak up this time with her and I literally can't talk too much about it because I will start sobbing my eyes out. I already had a night like two weeks ago when I thought I was going to have the baby and I laid in bed with her before she went to sleep and I just sobbed my eyes out. So I can't really talk about it because I'm going to cry. Now I'm feeling really guilty that I'm not sleeping with her in bed right now because what if today is the last day? I just don't know how much time I have left with her and every single day I'm like, is today the last day? Is today the last day? It's going to be the day where I'm just like, eh, it's not going to be it and then that'll be it. But anyway, I'm in bed now because I got a couple things done and now I'm exhausted. I had a plan of putting <laughs> some laundry away. Laundry away? Can I talk? And... I have not got to it because I actually just literally cannot. I have a couple more things I need to do before I'm on like my own version of maternity leave, like not doing any work stuff, but I literally cannot right now. Like I really, really cannot right now. Anyway, I need my sleep. I want to listen to the Christian hypnobirthing uh, tracks. It's, oh my gosh, that app has been so helpful. It literally puts me to sleep because I sometimes struggle falling asleep, but I have not struggled lately. Like, oh, I've been having insomnia and I get up at like four or five in the morning, but going to sleep, I'm pretty much like I pass out because I'm so tired and those tracks have been so nice to listen to. So I've been doing that for naps as well. So I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. Get my mind right for when this baby's going to come. And we only have one more day of Clark working and then he's off for the entire month of September. So I'm hoping the baby comes soon so that he's not off for like a week or plus whatever without the baby being here, which this will be really nice because we'll get time together as a family. So it'll work out the way it's gonna work out. I want his help as much as I possibly can when the baby's here because he works really long days and it's just gonna be me taking care of the babies. Oh, also my mom, I said this in my last video, she was supposed to come over a week ago and she got sick and had to cancel her flight, which is like really unfortunate. And she was like sick, contagious. It's a whole thing. It definitely, she could have not. It wasn't just like, oh, a little cold, you'll get over in like a second. Like she had some stuff going on. That was really unfortunate, but I have not had the baby yet. So she would have been here for 
over a week at this point and no baby, which would have been fine. Again, would have been fun to have her here and she would have been like so helpful and it had been good to have that time with her, but it's kind of, I think it's gonna work out. She's coming in next Saturday and we'll be here just for a week. And then when Clark goes back to work, she's coming back and she'll be here for like two or three weeks and like that'll be her long stay. My in-laws are in town from Mexico. They live in Mexico now and they just uh, flew in yesterday, last night. So they're in town waiting on baby too. So we're gonna have dinner with them tonight. And yeah, I don't know what the weekend's gonna hold because I don't know when I'm having a baby. So we shall see. Just eating my lentil loaf straight from the pot. That's where we're at right now. Yep. Okay. Oh, and me go to Iowa yesterday. Oh, really? That is not good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I would like you to make me a gluten-free sandwich, please. Okay. Can you do that? A guy's making me some. The guy's making it? Oh, okay. Yeah. You're just going to pick it up when it's ready? Yeah. Okay. Seven hours. Seven hours to make a sandwich? Yeah. Better be the best sandwich of my life. Yeah. He's going to do this and then this and then this. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. I love your setup. Hundred and then five, six. Hundred and five, six. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But I'm gonna put flour in this when she's ready. Okay. Do not go to sleep yet. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. She just wants to relax for a minute. Oh, she wants to relax for a minute. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Okay, I didn't see her there. There she is. Okay. For lunch, we are gonna have some of the leftovers that we had last night. I didn't film any of this last night. It's a new day. But we ordered some Szechuan food, and this is General Tso's tofu, and then like a curry tofu situation with some rice. It was so good, and it's kind of early for lunch, but I'm so hungry, and I'm gonna heat this stuff up. So many muscles. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got a little cot for baby sis. Mm. It's gonna go with our stroller. It's a gift from Cybex that just came in. Who? Uh, it's the brand, Cybex. So this goes with, so it's a double stroller. We already have the toddler seat, and then we're gonna get this. So now we officially will have a double stroller for you guys, yay! Okay, so I got some new shoes from Amazon. This is the third time I've ordered them because it's, they've been the wrong size. Not because they sent me the wrong size, because I've ordered the wrong size. So typically I'm an eight. The eights were too small, and I was like, that's weird. So I ordered an eight and a half. Got the eight and a half. They were too small. And I was like, I never wear anything. I never wear an eight and a half or larger. Anyway, ordered a nine. So let's see if the nine fits, but they're so cute. Okay. Oh, so I need to put socks on. Where'd my socks go? These are the shoes. We love them. They're so cute, right? How cute are these shoes? They're Steve Madden, got them off of Amazon. And these are nines. I never wear a nine. I'm either like seven and a half or eight, usually eight, but I don't know. I guess these run small and they were on sale. They are originally $100 and I got them for 50. So we love a good bargain, don't we? But yeah, these feel too big. Well, yeah, because they're nine. I need like an eight and three fourths or something. Let's see how these feel. Yeah, they feel big. What in the world? I guess they're better than the like than being tight. Talking to, talking to the camera and talking to you. But I guess they're better than what? I'm a whole. I'm a whole thing right now. Okay, let's slouch these down a little bit. How the cool kids wear stuff now? I don't know. Well, <laughs> they are cute. I probably will keep these. I feel like, I feel like they're fine. They're actually, they're not too big, but bigger than I normally would get. But anyway, these are fun little new shoes. 
We are making some muffins. Sagey decided to put some cucumbers in there. We're making a Simple Mills banana muffins and we're doing- Did you go have with me? Yeah, exactly. So I did two mashed bananas instead of the eggs. Daddy's doing it because mommy couldn't. I got it done, baby. Cutesy, cutesy. I don't know what that piece, oh. Well, that's nice from like the winter, right? Yeah. cookies yummy 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 we gotta mix it all up and then we'll put it on the on the tray okay we're making no bake cookies and then we're gonna make some vegan mac and cheese mm. and I know and then what else are we gonna make we're gonna make a dip make a nice dip and then we'll do some burgers yeah. some veggie burgers yep and then we'll go to our cookout okay it's officially Labor Day and I'm not in labor <laughs> <laughs> I'm what, 40 and five today? Um, 40 and four, we had this conversation yesterday. Done. Yeah, then we'll scoop it out and we'll put it on the tray and then we'll put it in the freezer or the fridge. One of the two. Um, I don't know if I'll go into labor today. I'm not counting on it. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. But we are just gonna go with the flow in- Who are you talking? Just the camera. I feel like I've been in a good mental space-ish until like a couple days ago when I'm like, okay, I'm like, way past 40 at this point now. And I'm feeling a little, like I just want things to like happen. And I feel like that's creating tension in my body. And I'm really now trying to focus on releasing Labor that. Day. Labor day. Just releasing that, letting it go, trying to just really not hold that in my body of like, when is it happening? Cause obviously I'm gonna feel that way, it's obvious. But I'm really trying to boost oxytocin today, snuggling with my baby girl, petting Nala. I was like looking up how to boost oxytocin. <laughs> it's like petting dogs, laughing, dancing, listening to music. I'm trying to just do all the feel good things today to just use it as a distraction, but also like as just like a good thing <laughs> to be doing to, <laughs> to just, I don't know, to just get oxytocin going because I don't want my body to feel so tense and stagnant that I'm not gonna go into spontaneous labor. I just need to boost oxytocin so my body will do what it's created to do and go into spontaneous labor because I've just had this mindset because I've never done that before. Like I haven't, I didn't have that experience with Sage and I just like really, it's hard for my brain to like go there. So I'm trying to like visualize it happening, feel it happening. Just, just picture all of it going down. So anyway, I'm trying to be in a better headspace today and just have fun, let loose, and just let it be and not be so hung up on what day it is, the time it is. Oh my gosh, it's, this hasn't been happening. So anyway, that's the goal for Labor Day. We're going to a cookout. Yeah. Yeah. Just enjoy the day. Making some more stuff for Labor Day. So I'm doing this dip. It's just refried beans, some yummy toppings, and then I made this with just salsa and vegan cream cheese, and then I'm just gonna layer it again with all that stuff. And it's gonna be so good. This is like from my childhood, just like a vegan version. Very, very excited. There's our cookies. We have two trays of these. You can tell Sage helped me along the way. <laughs>
maybe this is my birth vlog. So let me give you the rundown of what's been going on. It is Friday, September 6th. And last night I started having contractions at 3 a.m. It's very exciting. It woke me up and I had consistent contractions from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. And I was timing them on my phone because I was like, these are consistent. Like, this is crazy. And this is, this is the first time I've ever experienced spontaneous contractions. Never had one with Sage until I got induced. So it was not, you know, like naturally going into labor. And I've just been so excited to finally, finally feel that. So it kind of feels surreal that it happened. I was so excited to get contractions last night. They were manageable and everything, but I was so excited. Excited, but also knew I needed to stay in bed. I needed to rest and try to fall back asleep. And I could not fall back asleep. I was up from three to six with the contractions. They're about seven to 10 minutes apart. And then I ended up falling asleep around six because my midwife kept saying like, if you start getting contractions, don't get up, don't get too excited. Like go to sleep, get rest, get rest. So I really took that advice and I did. I ended up falling back asleep. I was listening to my Christian hypnobirthing tracks and then I fell asleep, which was really nice. And then I woke up at eight to a contraction and that's when Sage woke up and Clark woke up. So it kind of all worked out. I woke up to the contraction and then after that I stalled out. So I've been sitting here since 8 a.m. It's 11 a.m. now with, I think I had like one little contraction, but the consistency of them has definitely died down, which is very sad, but I'm also really excited because I had contractions. My body's doing something. Put myself together just a little bit here. We're gonna go to Costco and try to just like keep living life today and just kind of stay distracted a little bit. But I am 42, no I'm not, no I'm not, hold on. I'm 41 weeks and two days. Yeah, I'm 41 weeks and two days today. And I was like, is this happening? Like I really thought it was happening because I've not had Braxton Hicks. I've not had any, like I haven't had a contraction yet this pregnancy. Like I, since I'm, you know, past due or whatever, I'm like, when I start to feel stuff, that's probably gonna be the real deal. Now I kind of just feel discouraged, but then I also feel really excited because my body's doing doing something and it hasn't done anything <laughs> really yet. I mean, I've been feeling a lot over the last several weeks, but like a lot of like the lightning that's happening. And I had that last night so badly, which can mean the baby's just like pressing on your pelvis and like engaging, pushing down on your uterus and it's just hitting nerves on your uterus, but that can mean effacement and dilation. So I have to be dilated at this at this point, but um, anyway, that's where we're at. I don't know if this is the start of the actual birth vlog or not, but we're gonna see. We're gonna just try to continue to live life today and just stay distracted, but hopefully things gear up. My mom flies in tomorrow at like three o'clock, I think, and then we'll all go to my, my midwife because she lives near the airport. We'll go for an appointment with her and kind of just chat about things. I was really hoping that we wouldn't get to that point and that it would just like happen today. It still might, who knows, but my back is like super, super achy, which I'm like, oh, I don't want back labor. I had that with Sage and it was terrible, but honestly, like I'll take anything at this point since I'm so pregnant, but I mean, I still feel like very crampy and very achy in my back and like, so that stuff's still happening, just no like actual contractions, whatever. So anyway, that's the rundown of what's going on today. I hope that this isn't like fully, fully false labor and nothing happens for days again, but maybe that'll be the case. Maybe it'll be today. I don't know. All right, popping in for a little update. Still the same day. It's now 3 p.m. and I still have not had consistent contractions since this morning, but I'm having a lot of cramping my back is super achy. I have lost more of my mucus plug and I'm pretty sure I had my bloody show. We went to Costco, came home, unloaded groceries. Just we're trying to just kind of like do things, you know, but I'm also like, oh, I need to rest. So I'm on my ball and you can't see it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm on my ball. Well, so I've had to update my midwife and my doula is just kind of being like, I've stalled out. They suggested some uh, exercises from spinning babies and then also to like be on the ball and like be doing hip circles for like 20 minutes. So I have like four different like activities that I need to be doing that should hopefully get things moving along and also get baby in the right position. I think she's in a good position, but just all those exercises and stuff just 
helped baby get down and stay engaged and everything. So yeah, I've had like a couple contractions throughout the day, but nothing that's been consistent. So anyway, I'm gonna drink my red raspberry leaf tea. I'm gonna do my exercises and then I'm going to get in bed and try to sleep for a couple hours just so I can get myself as rested as possible because I feel like things are gonna be happening pretty soon. And then I need you to help me do the inverted one. I've tried it one other time and it was not comfortable. Okay, we're looking it up to see how exactly to do this. Does it say what side to go on? I think you can do both. Oh. The jiggle. Oh, last thing I want is to be jiggled right now. Oh. Okay. So this leg is straight, this leg is bent, right? <laughs> Does <this> feel right? <laughs> I thought it was like shifting more of like my hips out. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> jiggle, 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 jiggle. Yeah. Yeah, I tried doing it one other time and it did not feel good at all. Put your forearms, put your forearms, elbows out, and your hands together. Not put your head down. What'd you say? Hands together? Hands close together, elbows out. Yeah. <laughs> 